Hey everyone, it's Relic here, and we are back playing some more Voxel Craft on the Voxel Squad server, sponsored by Sticky Pistons. So in the last episode, then we were setting up our cobble works. Well, my version of it anyway, and it's still a bit messy. I haven't done anything with it because I'm recording this pretty much straight away. But yeah, it has been going for a while. Uh, it's getting some good collections actually. Pretty pleased with how it's going. And um, the only the only issue that we've really had is this running out of power because obviously our canola setup isn't automated yet, and we're going to be doing that soon. But yeah, it's it's been running out of the canola, so I've bolstered it up a little bit. The one thing I have done is I've set up this huge area down here. Well, I say huge; it's huge for me of canola. But say it's very very manual but it's enough to get us by for now and the thing that i want to do in this episode is i want to make use of the empowerer because i want to get myself some upgrades for the drill and if we look down here these are the upgrades that are available and we've got the speed upgrades we've got the silk touch a couple of fortunes the size upgrades so this basically makes it similar to the tinkers tools in that respect and then a block placing augment which i've never used but i'm sure it's very useful the things i'm interested in is making it faster i'm not necessarily interested in having silk touch all the while but i would at some point quite like to make the augment and this one's not too bad it, it requires a little bit of emerald which i'm not sure if we've got all of that but yeah nothing nothing more Nothing more complicated than that. But the things that I say I want to make is the speed upgrade. Now, this is going to require empowered diamond, diamantine. And that's pretty straightforward to make. Need a bit of light blue dye, some clay, and obviously the diamantine crystal. But it also requires these empowered anori crystals, which are going to require some snow. Now, we are nowhere near a snow biome. Well, I say nowhere near. There's one a fair distance away. So we're going to have to go and visit that. And the other thing is I'd quite like to grab fortune on there. Because obviously, who doesn't want fortune? And that is pretty, pretty easy for, from the respect of this. So the actual empowered redstonia isn't too bad. All of those bits are fairly gettable. But we've got this ender case in. And yeah, it's a little bit a little bit expensive. So we need an entire block of black quartz for that. Empowered diamantines and the ender pearls. So I think we've potentially got the ender pearls. But the block of black quartz. Yeah, that is a bit expensive. I'm sure we've got it. But anyway, the first thing is first. We're gonna need to get out there and grab some snow. And if I just look at my map. Uh, press the right button there's a snow biome yeah so it's quite a distance away because we are all the way up here and i don't think there was these are the places i've explored on the map i don't think there is necessarily anything else so i've <laughs> i've been all the way down there already i should have collected some snow when i was down there i did my remark that there were some polar bears down there and i have got one of the lassoes i'm going to try and capture one if i can in fact i don't even know if i've got more than one of these lassoes will be quite handy because if we could capture two of them we could find out how to breed them i've never bred polar bears before i'm not really even sure what you get from them but yeah it would be quite fun and i've also made myself a sleeping bag so we can just sleep wherever we are so we haven't got to worry about getting caught out in the middle of the night and i'm not sure if anybody else is on the server uh, 99 blocks is on there so yeah if we did get caught up i'm sure he could help us out but let's grab some string i just want to make myself another one of these uh, lassoes first of all so let's go in we want the golden lasso and it is just literally that but that is going to take Eight of our levels away but that's fine so pop those back in there for now 
Um, yeah, we've got a fair bit of black quartz, but I don't really like to use too much. It's quite hard to get hold of. So anyway, we need to face ourselves in the right direction. I know that it's towards my new home, so actually shouldn't be that bad. But yes, yeah, so it's over there. So if we just jump up on this roof, and hopefully we can get over there in one bounce, and then fire ourselves up in the air, like so. And where are we heading here? I think it's potentially the right direction, although that says new home. So we do need, in fact, if we go that way, and then we can veer off towards it once we get there. And I should have been looking where I was going because I've just crashed into some redwoods, which is never a good thing. But yeah, there's the house that obviously we are working on currently. And if we just land, get ourselves up here. I do want to get a better mode of flight now because it was great to start off with, but all of this messing around is kind of getting a bit of a pain now, to be honest. So... Let's just check that we're still going in the right direction. So we want to actually change direction to this way. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to land here again because there is a massive mountain there. Let's see if we can actually get over this. I think we're going to have to go around it. Right, so here is the beginning of the snow. Now, I'm going to head in a bit further. Some ice spikes here. I'm going to head in a bit further because I would quite like to find these polar bears that I found before. As I say, oh, what is this? Hmm, is this something that I'm interested in? I've got to say, I've never seen one of these before. And I think this is a vanilla Minecraft thing, the igloo. Let's try and find if there isn't actually a way in be pretty cool if there was and here it is uh, okay so it's just like a basically like a roguelike dungeon I guess is that what this is it is right okay so and that's already been lit up so I'm guessing should we go all the way down to the bottom just have a just have a look yeah I'm guessing that somebody has already been down here. In fact, somebody's been down here quite recently because there's some stuff still down there. So we've got a, a zombie spawner in there. Okay, cool. Somebody's been down there as well by the looks of it and grabbed some stuff. Or well, that could just be... Yeah, I'm going to say that's where somebody's grabbed some stuff. Fine. Well, we know that's there. That is, that's pretty handy. And... All the other players that watch my videos are going to see this on the map. So if anybody was thinking of coming and getting stuff, I guess they could. Because I am certainly not going to be doing it in this episode. But yeah, pretty cool. So I say, never seen one of those before. So let's get ourselves back in the air again then. And let's see about actually getting and finding these polar bears. And that is totally the wrong way. I've never seen anything like these things before. And it's actually that way. This actually turns quite sharply. There we go again. Roughly in the right direction. Now we're kind of froze for a second there. I'm not really sure what that's all about. So this is still saying that it's ice planes. So just trying to keep my eye out. Let's see. And there we go. So there are some polar bears there. Now let's just have a quick look and see whether or not these can actually be captured. It doesn't show them as hostile, so hopefully... Ah, oh, yes, we can. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, there we go. So there's a couple of polar bears. There's a baby polar bear. I thought he was going to come and attack me then. Excellent. Right, we can do some polar bear breeding. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's pretty brilliant, actually. That is a pretty big mountain over there. And there's some more polar bears. That's the one that we've just... That is the one that we've just seen. So let's just fire ourselves up again. And 
Let's see if there's anything that we haven't missed. So we've got a big cave there. Okay, cool. So it doesn't look like there's anything else around that we need at the moment. A lot of andesite there if we needed it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop off. I'm going to grab a load of this snow. And yeah, I'll meet you back at the base. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so finally back again. And I've been searching around and I've picked up pretty much all of the raw materials, items that we need. And first couple of things. So I'm going to grab at least two of these uh, for the redstonia. And we'll also grab a couple of those. And then finally, I absolutely hate doing this, but I think we are going to need a full block of this. And I can't count out the map. Right, so there we go. There's the nine of those. It's just going to quickly turn that into a block. And we will get these back eventually once we... Let's, to be honest, you can find them quite easy in the nether. Now that uh, all of the lava has dried up down there, you can just wander around. And you usually find them in little overhangs of the ceiling. So anyway, let's grab these out. So as they form, there's one. And just grab all of this. And then we will be ready to go. Which is pretty cool. So that's that. And I wish this was just a little bit more powerful so that it could actually go through blocks. And this is... I think that is about it. We're going to have to fill that up again with power soon. But for now, that is fine. So we've got the stuff that we need. Let's get ourselves downstairs into what was originally going to be our little actually additions area, but it's kind of turned into the uh, pretty much everything I can fit in here area, to be honest. I've got a little, I forgot to mention this actually, I've got this little setup here so that I can auto output bricks. So we're going to need quite a lot of those, obviously, for the build that we're doing. But for now, then, we've got all of this stuff in here. And I could probably actually do with making myself a, another crafting station over here. Well, there's only one a, a few yards behind, but saves having to run over there all the while. Okay, so let's get back into here. And if we type in actually additions again, like so. Uh, so the first thing that we need then is the empowered Anori crystals and the, the empowered Diamante crystals. Let's get this one first. We're going to need a snowball, some grey dye, a button and some cobblestone, which is all relatively easy to get. In fact, that's the only thing I didn't put over here. So let's grab a couple of bits of that and a couple of bits of that. If we head back over here, let's make ourselves a button really quickly. So I think it's just one of those to give us a button and some grey dye. I've got some light grey dye, but I'm guessing that grey is what we need there. So that's the grey dye. And then we've got the Inori crystal block. Good. And so we need some snow as well. And then obviously the Inori crystal. Or I think we, to be honest, I think we can just put the block there. But we are about to find out. In fact, if we just go back into that again, because there was another, there was another recipe. No, there wasn't. I thought there was. Oh, there is. Oh, you can use floral grey powder as well. So the Britannia root. Fine, so all we need to do then is grab those items. In fact, let's grab the grab one of these snowballs as well. And you just right click these onto the empower. And now I, I'm not sure that it needs to be in exactly that order. I guess that we are about to find out. And what was the other thing? I've forgotten now it was the grey dye. And then finally was grey dye oh the piece of cobble so pop that on there onto this one 
and hopefully we'll soon start to see if we pop the Inori block on there, will it accept it? It will. Good. So, <laughs> I don't know, uh, mine colonies. So anyway, this is going to do its little effect thing. It's pretty cool. And then when it finishes, it'll probably make some kind of noise. I'm probably standing way too close to it. And hopefully that's pretty quick. It's not going through the power too quickly. That's fine. And there we go. And obviously empty hand to pick that up like so. And then we need the uh, demon time ones as well. I will learn how to say that at one point. So for that, we're going to need some clay, which I think is going to be a problem. I think I'm just using my clay, some light blue and some more clay. Right. Give me a minute because I'm fairly sure that, yeah, I've used all of my clay. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we are back and yeah, I've got those bits there. So some clay on there or clay block on there and a piece of clay on there. And I can't remember what color dye it was now. So let's just have a double check. Uh, I think it was light blue. Yeah, it was light blue. So to make light blue, I think actually all we need is, oh, we can't do it with that, so let, in fact let's do it this way. Grab that, we'll grab that, and there's some light blue dye. Cool. Would have had to make a mortar and pestle, and easy enough, but yeah, I just want to get this done without any more messing about now. And I've got that guy, oh it's two pieces of clay, so we need another piece of clay on this one. Then the diamantine block in the middle. I'm just going to wait for that to do its thing. Yeah, that was relatively quick. So let's just grab that up. Like so. And I think now we've actually got all the bits that we need to put this together. We need some sugar as well. And that is easy enough to do. Let's just grab a load of that. Cool. So then we need to... Break that down into stars. We need to break that down into individual crystals. And I think it was here, like so. One of those in the middle and four of those on the side it was. Good, right, so there is the first upgrade then. Excellent, that went a little bit quicker than I thought it would do. Then the fortune, I'm hoping that I've not been silly and yeah, I have been silly. We need some redstone for that. Um, some glowstone for that even. Uh, we haven't got a huge amount, so I'm gonna have to cut away again in a minute to go and get that. But these two, I think I'd like to make both of these. So we are gonna need two basic coils, and one of those is gonna be used to make an advanced coil. So we're gonna need to nip upstairs and grab the bits that we need to make that first and hopefully I've still got some left just and there's a bit of copper there oh, those are two different colors embers copper whatever that is and a bit of redstone like so and I've got to admit I thought I had a lot more glowstone there, but I did make quite a lot of the empowered alloy so my fault, I guess. Right, let's go back into here. So first of all, we need the basic and we need some black quartz. For in fact, let's just take this downstairs because all of those bits are actually downstairs now anyway. And get back over to here. Cool. Right, so we want the quartz. In fact, we can lose those Inori crystals for a minute. And we need the redstone, yeah. In fact, we are going to need more redstone here than that. Right, good. So, let's get back into there. And I need them in my inventory. Oh, the messing about. I do wish that they would link the chests back up again. Because that would make life so much more fun. <laughs> 
than what it is currently. And then finally, a bit more space. And we're also going to need that one. Good. Right, so first of all then, this needs to be surrounded by just a no just normal and no ah oh. and of course I've turned all of those into empowered right give me a minute I need to grab some more of the diamantine crystals okay so we've got those so we should be in pretty good form actually just to throw the three together like so excellent and then the five, what are we missing for that? We need the empowered stuff, which we've just got enough of. I think we're just going to be able to get away with this. Ah, it's just the normal ones that we need. So what do we need the empowered ones for? I can't remember now. Ah, uh, it was for, it was for this, which we're going to make in a minute. So, oh, we need another four. Hopefully that's all of those that we need now. I don't have to go rushing off camera again. Right, so we can put that together and that's the five as well. And then let's just have a look at this one. So we need the empowered. We need a block of quartz. Now hopefully, yeah, that's just four of those, isn't it? So there's the block of quartz. And then we need, say, so yeah, we need the empowered. And what else was it that we needed? In order to do that, we need the glow stair, so I'm we'll going to have to go and grab that, but we also need the ender pearls. So let's just grab that up for a second, like so, like so, and so that's the ender casing. And we've got the empowered, or well, we haven't got the empowered redstone. Yeah, let's make that first, and then I'll go and grab some more glowstone. So we need some redstone, bricks, nether bricks, and red dye. So we've got the red dye. Brick. Put that on with the nether brick. I'll just put that up there for a sec. Right, so nether brick, die, brick, redstone, and then we need the redstone here block as well. And put that in the middle. And while that is doing that, I am gonna head back downstairs again. Downstairs, head back to the nether again. It's not as though it's under my base and grab some more glowstone. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, cool, so that's done. And I've got some more of glowstone, so we can turn that into glowstone blocks. And then, so we should just be a case now of turning that into crystals. We should just be able to pop that together if we had all of the items in our inventory. Good, so we've got the fortune as well. Now, I'm not sure actually whether we can use all of these at once, but we certainly we only need to, I think there's only three slots, but yeah, that's fine. So let's just pop some bits and pieces away. We've got way too much stuff here at the second. In fact, let's make another chest. Like so, turn that into a vanilla chest. And then we'll turn this into a double chest, which I didn't really think this through, did I? Let's break that, turn that into a chest, put the crafting table there. And now we can dump a load more of this stuff into there so we don't lose it. And when we make stuff next time, we've got it all to hand. So a bit more redstone in there, some of that. Bit of that, and I think we are good. That is actually an Anori block. It's fine. In fact, I'll put that in there as well. And the nuggets. Good. Right. So let's grab these out. Let's have a quick test to see how much easier this makes life. So let's go nip upstairs and get the drill charged just so that we can have a little bit of a play for a while. And hopefully, so here's the charger. 
Uh, we just need to pop that in there. This will charge really quickly. In fact, that's yeah, that charges really quickly. I haven't used it a lot, so um, we'll head over to the mining dimension. Just let that load in really quickly. And it looks as though someone set up solar array over there. I'm guessing for a builder. Right, cool. So, how does this work? First of all, then I think it's shift right click. And yeah, okay, so there are quite a few slots. So let's just test it first of all. So the speed without any speed upgrade is pretty much like that. And compared to this pick, now this pick now has got efficiency four on it. So I think this is gonna be pretty much quicker than anything. But yes, yeah, so that's way quicker than the drill on its own. And if we just grab a speed upgrade, Let's see. Okay, I'm not sure that that made that much difference. And given that that's the three as well. Okay, maybe it makes more of a difference when you're drilling out three at a time. So let's go back into here. And we'll put the three in there. I'm surprised that that hasn't, that didn't work like that, but yeah, fine. Maybe you need all of them in there. Didn't think of that. Right, so let's test this now. And oh, that's pretty cool. In fact, let's just go down another one because that gets the gravel as well, which is pretty handy. And if we pop the speed upgrade in there now, No difference whatsoever. But it doesn't feel like that's a difference. No, it's certainly not. And obviously we've got the the five upgrade as well. This this is brilliant for doing tunnels with. I think you've got to take this one out in order for it to work. But if we now and that's just doing one at a time. Why is that? Okay, so does that mean you've got to have both in there in order for this to work? Yeah, you have. And that is quite slow now. So, if we were to put this speed upgrade in there, how would that affect it? Hmm. Not at all, really. So, I am thinking to myself that we actually need to make the other two upgrades, which is a bit of a pain, but they should be relatively easy. So let's just head back to base and just see what we need to do to make those. Because I would like this to be faster, that is for sure. Especially with that five tunnel, you'd be there for absolutely forever. So for the one, is redstone, sugar, and a nori, which we've got. And now we're going to need cake for that. That's fine, we've got the cows. Okay, cool. Right, we assume we put a few of these together. So I'm going to quickly put the other two of these together. And we'll see if it is that that is making that slow, or whether or not, oh, sorry, making it slow, not making it any faster, or whether or not it just doesn't work. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so they're made and um, back in the mining dimension again. And I've already had a quick test of this and yeah, it definitely is quicker. So if we just go in, I'll just grab all three of those out again and just remind you that this is the speed without the upgrades. And then if we just shift right click and pop all of those in there like that, and then we do it again, as you can see, yeah. Not drastically quick, but it is definitely quicker. And I'm guessing now, if we were to take out the dimension upgrades, and now we'd do another comparison. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty much creative speed. That's insane. Yeah, really like that. Okay, cool. There we go. 
that works a lot better. So you need to make all three of those, which, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. And I'm going to guess now that it's going to be the same with the fortune upgrades as well. So unfortunately, it looks as though you can only have... So you've got the, up, the speed upgrades on there. It looks as though you can only have either these two for the fortune, these two for the width, or one of these in there as well. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess you probably don't want to really silt touch those unless you were collecting up stone, which in which case, yeah, I can see that you might want to do that. We've got the cobble works now, but in, but it, in a normal circumstance, you wouldn't need to have the dimension upgrades on those because you'd just be, say, collecting up something, I don't know, anything that you would silk touch. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm just going to leave all those bits there, actually, because it's in the mine and dimension and it shouldn't cause any problems, just that small amount. So that is the tools anyway. Uh, can we get back out of there? And th these cows, I really don't know how they're escaping, but there's so many of them they're getting out. We've got quite a few left in there. I'm, I'm fairly sure it must be, it must be this area. I think when we move, we certainly won't have it next to a wall or they'll be totally walled in or totally fenced in, but because the two don't connect, I'm fairly sure that must be the issue anyway. So anyway, that is going to be the end of the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. And I do absolutely love this. And of course, actually, before we end, I'm kind of bored of the colour. So let's change it to a different colour because that is just the standard colour. And all we need to do for that is just to pop it in with some dye. And yeah, not so fond of that colour. I'm guessing that we could probably turn it a darker blue. Yeah, quite like that. There we go. And that's how I think once it's dyed, I don't think you can dye it again. Let's just double check. Yeah, you can. Once it's dyed, it's dyed. But yeah, I quite like that colour. So there we go. Cool. So yeah, anyway, that is the end of the episode. And just to make sure I'm turning the right way around. Obviously, if you like the video, hit the like button. Always appreciated. Now, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. And as always, take care. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.